you unplugged? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring it. How's that work? Bone black, it says. Bone black, it says. Well, we are having the luckiest Friday the 13th in the whole world. Oh, is this Friday the 13th? It is. Women's Day. I know. Yay. <laughs> so everyone, this is my mentor, Sue Hoya Sellers, who was there the day I was born. In fact, it's June, and I was noticing how the mimosa trees were blooming, and Sue said that she was sitting under a mimosa tree drawing when I was making my way onto the planet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Sue is our master teacher and elder in the Cosmic Calvers community. Definitely the elder. Yeah, 78 now. Yes. And she's calling that, calling that in, loving that. If I was Chinese, I would be 79. They oh. count the whole year of your renewal. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I always think we should do that. Yeah. yeah. So talk about an amazing space to come from, really celebrating, uh, accelerating into the future, as she calls it. So um, Sue is the person who, oh, I want to tell you, she's using red, white, black, and brown. You can use whatever colors you want, but those is, that's what she's demonstrating with. Okay, so Sue is the one who continued to put the brush in my hand, who brought me to the museum, who told me I was an artist and continued to encourage me and made up ways to uh, work with me and make it workable for me. A lot of the things I show you are because she first showed it to me. And she also had a mentor that we want to include, which is Lenore Thomas Strauss. So we are part of a lineage. And then my own mom, Karen McLeod, is also a part of this. And it's my mom that brought Sue um, into the family. And so Sue is an artist. And what do you want to tell us about that? Being an artist? Yeah. It's a great way to live. It's a great way to live. She says sometimes it's... It's romantic, right? <laughs> it's very romantic being an artist because I know I am. Yeah. I know that's just about all that I am. Yeah. Um, and uh, the romance of it is that you're so, um, by committing to art continuously, mm -hmm. your senses, your sensory responses and, and living makes it Romantic, that's what romance is, to be very sensual mm. every moment of your mm. life mm. Um, without having to glom onto some love object. Right. Yes. Um, but it's just, it's very romantic. Mm. And so I asked Sue, I called her up just a couple days ago and said, I really want you to come teach in this, this class about the heart. and. Why do you think, since we're working with this spiritual territory of the heart, why do you think it's important for us to understand some part of the actual anatomy? Um, well, every time I 
hear the heart, hear about the heart, to say the heart. I, I that uh, song of um, Tracy Chapman's always comes in uh, of matters of the heart, and that's what we're talking about. Everything that matters mm. goes through the heart, yeah. and it's clarified, and then informs the brain. Yeah, and. What um, Shiloh was asking me was, how does this heart work to get this information around? I believe that's what you were asking. And um, so um, I, I went back to wrap up all of the, to simplify this as much as possible. Um, and <clears throat> these, uh, this is the surface. I'm just going to be oh, there. I'm not going to be able to see this. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. I'm going to be illustrating just the surface of the heart, but I will talk about these bulges that underneath there are ventricles. They're actual chambers. And if you go to Leonardo da Vinci's drawings of the heart, he actually draws those chambers as chambers. Yeah. And it really makes me think of a cathedral with the arches. Um, so that is inside here, giving form to all of these chambers that makes the blood and the heart work for us and pump it through our entire system, bringing this chamber, this this, this cathedral of love with all of its juices full of information mm. about everything in the universe, pumping it to all parts of our body mm. is just so intriguing to me. And just to, be, to know that we are meant to be totally loving mm. and we with her in our bodies, eventually we will all get there. Mm. That's the promise. I mean, not to say I'm there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but I'm, I love knowing that it's there, mm. it's in my body, mm. it's going to become perfect at some mm. point, and I can just enjoy the ride from here to there. <laughs> Fantastic. Especially with, with painting. Yeah. So think about that, the cathedral of the heart, because what we're going to be doing is the places that you're working with in, in this class today, you're going to be actually putting it into the heart. And so before you put a, we're not writing the intention now. Right now we're putting this, this sort of structure, this cathedral. We're building the cathedral of the heart on the canvas. I want you to just go ahead and put your hands on your canvas and infuse it with your intention, but don't write it on there. Just infuse and charge it up, and then go ahead and get your paint ready to go. Uh, Sue's got, like I said, the four colors, white, red, brown. She's got a Van Dyke brown and black. You can use whatever colors you want, or um, I like to follow along with the master teacher, and she will continue to inform you. Does this work right here? Because it'll just keep going down and it's here. I'd like a piece of tape, actually. A piece of tape? Okay. Um, so actually what we have, and what we're going to have here is, a, is a, uh, a map, a simple, oh, you're up there, a simple map of uh, the different parts of the external heart and um, the uh, veins and arteries that come off of it and go to all the places where we live. And I'm just going to put up my uh, simple little diagram here and just get it up there. Thank you. So I think I have some black and I love working in black and white. In gray. What would you like it? Gray scale. Just right there. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's, that's enough. I don't think it's going to stay. Okay. Well, we 
do the best we can. Okay, I'm just going to, um, with black and some white, which is rather brown, maybe this is black. Oh, it is black. Black and white and brown. Okay. I'm just going to um, quickly try to leave enough room for the aorta up here. And come down 